The High Precision Hydraulic Chuck. Simple operation with only one wrench provides easy clamping and unclamping of cutters. Runout of less than three microns at four times diameter can be achieved. Even though clamping and unclamping are repeated, stable repeatability of runout is still available. This chart shows the runout variation after being measured 50 times at five times diameter. All the measurements are less than three microns and repeatability is stable. This hydraulic chuck has a compact and slim design due to its integral body. Even the top part of the clamping diameter grips the tooling. Two-point support of the chamber helps to achieve strong clamping and high precision. This hydraulic chuck is pre-balanced for high-speed operations. Here, we show how the repeatability of runout influences actual cutting operations. A 10 millimeter diameter reamer is being used in this test. A big hydraulic chuck, a collet chuck from manufacturer A, and a milling chuck from manufacturer B are used for comparison. The reamer is clamped and unclamped for every hole, and the procedure is repeated 15 times. First, let's compare the surface finishes. As it shows, it is well recognized that the runout affects the surface finish. Next, machine holes are inspected at the top, middle, and bottom positions, and the hole diameters are compared with the nominal size. Variation of hole diameters by the hydraulic chuck is only four microns. On the contrary, the collet chuck from manufacturer A has 18 microns, and the milling chuck from manufacturer B has 21 microns of variation. This shows that the hydraulic chuck achieves a consistent finish diameter due to its excellent repeatability, even though the cutters continue to be clamped and unclamped. Next, the chip formation is compared based on runout. The top cutter has two microns of runout at the cutter tip, and the bottom cutter has 20 microns. In the case of the 20 micron runout tool, one cutting edge has a lighter depth of cut, resulting in inconsistent chip formation. In the case of the two micron runout tool, all the cutting edges evenly remove material and form consistent chips. As the video shows, the reamer with poor runout does not guide itself exactly to the nominal hole. The machined holes tend to expand. Next, we show how the repeatability of runout influences end milling operations. We set up a finishing operation for keyway walls with a radial depth of cut of 0.1 millimeters. The cutter is a two flute 12 millimeter diameter and is cutting aluminum. The tool holders used for comparison are the hydraulic chuck and a competitor's milling chuck. Chip formation is also compared. The left hand side is our hydraulic chuck with two microns of runout at the cutter tip. The right side is a competitor's milling chuck with 15 microns of runout. Our hydraulic chuck forms consistent chips from both cutting edges. In the case of the competitor's milling chuck, one cutting edge removes more material than the other edge. In other words, only a single edge is doing the work.
The width of the groove is measured at the top, middle, and bottom, and the results are shown in the chart. The dimensional variation of our hydraulic chuck is within 8 microns, while the competitor's milling chuck has 23 microns of variation. Holders with poor runout have variations in machining accuracy each time a tool is clamped. Eventually, this can become a big obstacle to increase production and efficiency. It is important to choose tool holders with good runout to prevent problems with machining accuracy and tool life. Our hydraulic chucks are easy to operate and provide stable runout accuracy.